Now that you are familiar with Forge CLI, you are ready to get building that awesome app you have been thinking about. If you are new to this process, don't worry. Forge is designed to get you up and running quickly and easily. The Forge Toolkit comes with a set of components you can use to build an app. These components are listed in the manifest file, a YAML file that describes the pieces that make up your app and the actions it's allowed to take. Some of the properties listed in the YAML file include permissions, which are your API scopes. These define your app's access to data and actions within Atlassian products. Remotes, which are external domains that the app communicates with, like an external API. Resources, which are bundled HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and images served from the Atlassian CDN. These create the interface for the apps that use custom UI. And modules. Modules are like the building blocks of your app's logic. They provide the modular functionality that you need when building your app. And they define what your app is able to do inside an Atlassian product. If the manifest is the blueprint of your app, modules are the different rooms. You can configure your app's functionality the same way you can add and remove rooms on the blueprint to create different layouts. You can keep adjusting the blueprint until your app has all the functionality you want and create different types of apps. But like a blueprint, it's just a plan. You will need to write the JavaScript to make it functional. Think of that part like the construction phase. Within the manifest.yaml file, information is placed in the modules dictionary. This defines the different modules your app uses to integrate with Atlassian products, as well as the function that contains your app's logic. The most important thing you need to remember is that the manifest file defines what your app can do. As you build your app, you will register new modules and permissions inside the manifest. The manifest file and modules are included as part of the toolkit that comes with Forge. Other services include hosting, authentication, and processing events. When you set up a new project using the Forge CLI, Forge automatically creates the manifest for you based on the template you select. Then, you can start adding new capabilities to your manifest file right in your code editor. There are few types of modules. Function is a general purpose module that invokes a function. A function module contains a key, which names the function and can be referenced in other functions, and a handler, which points to the function's file location. Another type of module is trigger which invokes a function when an event occurs. Triggers come in three different types. Product trigger runs a function when an event you subscribe to happens within an Atlassian product. For example, when an issue is created or a page is updated. A scheduled trigger invokes a function at a regular timed interval. And a web trigger runs a particular function whenever traffic hits a specified URL. There are also modules specified to products like the macro module in Confluence or the issue panel module in Jira. These modules let your app modify specific locations or behaviors in those products. All these modules form the basis of your app. Once you have defined the capabilities you want your app to have, you can start making it a reality by writing the code that powers your app. index.js is the default JavaScript file created when you begin a new Forge project. Each module in your manifest file has a function or a handler. These values tell Forge where to execute the code connected to the module. You can find Lots of code examples in the docs to use as a starting point. When modules are added, it's the same process as adding any change to your app. Just deploy the app with the new module. 
if the new module has updated permissions, deploy as usual, then run forge install dash dash upgrade to prompt consent for the new scopes. You can get started with the manifest and modules right away using the forge CLI. Remember, if you ever need a reminder, all this knowledge exists in the Atlassian Docs Forge module reference guide. With Forge, skip the setup and go straight to writing code. Subscribe to this channel for more helpful tips.